करनी साहब गुलजार साहब मेरे दोस्त भाई आसिफ भाई फ्रेंड्स गुलजार साहब ने जो फरमाया वो कुलकर्णी साहब ने जो कहा कि पाकिस्तान हिंदुस्तान का मसला कोई दूसरी एक दो ट्रैक डिप्लोमी से भी नहीं होने वाला ये बहुत बड़ा पत्थर है जिसको हटाने में और खसकाने में मुद्दत लग जाएगी तब तक हम लोग रहेंगे या नहीं रहेंगे उसका कुछ पता नहीं तो जो गुलजार साहब की ऑनर में उनकी लीडरशिप में ये प्रपोज की गई है कि वही लीडरशिप वही डिप्लोमेसी काम करने वाली है आर्ट कल्चर म्यूजिक मेरे ख्याल से उसके सिवा अभी आज तक कोई का रास्ता नहीं है गुलजार साहब ने बहुत मुबारक अल्फाज से जो कुछ फरमाया आई फील वेरी स्मॉल इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुलजार साहब कुलकर्णी साहब आसिफ साहब टू से वट एवर हैव टू से आई वुड नॉट लाइक टू गो इन टू द पॉलिटिक्स अदर थिंग्स एट आर हैपनिंग टेररिस्ट नॉन टेररिस्ट एट ऑल आई वुड कन्फाइन माई सेल्फ टू द रोल ऑफ म्यूजिक दैट म्यूजिक कैन प्ले in building bridges not within the country but beyond the frontiers if i go to south and i talk about some gentleman dayal singh and the south indian audience will say who if i go to delhi and say i've heard guru karai could you money and say what money which money white or black that is the difference within the country itself as it is today but funnily and happily this is not the difference that i find between the audiences in india and the audiences in pakistan I was only seven years old. I'm Gujarat sir. I was born in Lahore. I lived in Deir Ez Zor Khan, which is hotbed of terrorists, Taliban. Before you were born. <laughs> I lived next to All India Radio. Simla Pahadi, in that house, which later on or during that time that I was there, Faiz Saab was living in our annex. So when I went back to Pakistan, I visited that house. that has been turned into a heritage house and occupied by the government of pakistan for some center so when i sent my card in to the director general he called me and said this house belongs to you i said well, i was small this is our family house he stood up and says you are sitting in the wrong place you come and be you should be sitting here i'm a usurper i should be sitting opposite you when he took me around the entire house and asked me various questions i told him. the natural is whether it is my generation or it is any other generation little before me 
who have migrated, Pakistan cannot be forgotten. And I also see that when I visit Pakistan and I meet common people, they will never forget India. It is only that small percentage of 5-10% who are in siyasat, it suits them. That's why bolte hain ki I meet a communist uh, CPM in India. I was working in, in the corporate world before. They say, chulli garam rakho. To keep things hot, doesn't matter. Coming back to my music, in the 70s, I founded this organization called Kala Sangam. And I was privileged to have Ustad Amir Khan sir, one of the greatest musicians Indian classical music has seen ever in the history of classical music. Next to him, shoulder to shoulder, we gave birth to an organization called Kala Sangam, and he was the founder president. At that time, during the process that we formed in Kala Sangam, we said, but what is our vision? There are so many setups so many organizations, so many people who are organizers and doing music, but why Kala Sangam? So we have to be different. Kala Sangam is today a charitable trust. I don't eat from it. It provides from its own corpus help to musicians, particularly the cancer patients and ailing musicians and the families. So our objective and vision was expansion of Indian classical music. One, integration of Hindustani classical and Carnatic music. It falls apart. Unless and when, if and when, why I, I say it has to. When the two systems are brought closer, will Indian classical music thrive? and Indian musical which will be more fulfilling for the audience, for the organizers and for the music itself. With that objective, we sat down and today we have All India Footprint. We are opening up in Sri Lanka, in Bangladesh, extending music because we feel very, very strongly that whatever happens in the world is the language, the medium of music that you can build bridges and become friends. One day, I hope, I go to my friend's country and also have Indian classical music there and their music here. We started this in the 70s, as we all know, 80s, 70s. There was abundance of artists from whom the great artists, Amir Khan Sahib, Walayat Khan Sahib, Ali Akbar Khan Sahib, Begum Akhtar, and the works, Bhim Sanji. It was difficult to choose who to pick up for a lineup. Today, it's a shortage. 
You see same faces all over again. Tomorrow, I foresee a drought. And in order to save the drought, we started a new concept called Galas, Kalasangam Green Horns. This is 40 years after which we had last month in Dayab with Bhavans. That all those people who are capable, eligible, good artists have not been given a good walk on the stage by an established platform, we'll adopt them. And we'll give them a stage to perform on and take them and sponsor everywhere. We have started, we have had a session, we launched it very successfully. Coming back to a relationship with Pakistan, Well, this has been, I went to Pakistan four or five times during the last six, seven years. In my trip to around Pakistan, six, seven cities I went to, I went to Damane Koh, Islamabad, and stood there on atop Damane Koh, Gazing at the green fields and the mountains beyond, I could see, visualize Multan. I could hear Bade Ghulam Ali Khan. I could hear Reshma. I could hear Nazaka Salama Khan Sahib. I could hear Suraya Multanika. And I turn around and I could hear Amir Khan sir. I could hear all the artists, the great artists in India. I was wondering, where is the difference? Why can't we somehow bring our music, take the music to them and their music to us? So we started doing it, pursuing it vigorously. Two days later, I was requested by Saraiki Channel to appear on Saraiki Channel, which I speak Saraiki well. And in that audience, I was told there were our friends, Taliban. At the end of it, I was introduced to people, the deputy speaker of the National Assembly, who is from Deir Esmail Khan. And he said, you are winning hearts by speaking our language, talking to us, also singing in the same language. Now, if I take you to Deir Esmail Khan, I guarantee you that no Taliban will refuse. And all I heard from a distance was Pamakhadekha in Pashto. Aslam alaikum. And those were the Taliban friends who shook hands and said, You're welcome to Dear Ismail Khan. We went round and started sending our artists to Pakistan. My friends, who you know, Slavdin, Yusuf Slavdin, a great, great, great grandson of Allah Iqbal. He said, Bobby, two crores for Lataji to come. So I said, she will not come and sing. He said, no, 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 no. Please ask her to come there and just stand. I guarantee you, the crowd she draws only by standing there and not performing will be far more than all the political parties put together. And you bring uh, Madhuri Dixit, take Kashmir. So, 
So we promoted <coughs> before in 1980s we brought to Bombay um, um, to fail Niaj Khan. To see Jande Ogi, to fail Niaj Khan. Tate Punjabi, folk singer, absolute soul from the heartland of Pakistan in Maharashtra and people call me stupid. He sang there, full audience, and he got an ovation, people with moist eyes. That was the charm of classical music or the music that he created. We brought Farida Khanum, the Guzar Sahib knows, Farida Khanum came, Medi Sahib, Reshma, Reshma, and we sent from here Manjuri Asnare from Maharashtra who had a wonderful reception. She was picked up after she was found on PTV, picked up by BBC and then promoted in Alpert Hall. Eventually coming back to Parvez Sahib, Musharraf Sahib, incidentally he is very fond of classical music and he sings himself. He sings the body is his favorite rock. Singing in jail also. Sorry? Must be singing in jail. That I'm not aware. I don't read books. I don't read papers. Um, I'll be very short. I beg your pardon? Uh, we have two chapters in Pakistan, one in Lahore, one in Karachi. And the Karachi one is taken care by Ayla Raza. We sent, when we sent our artists to Pakistan, I made it a point to ask them to sing bhajan. Marathi bhajan, Hindi bhajan. They were very popular. Last year, I sent a set of Mridang Tal Vadyam to Pakistan. And I'm happy to say that my friend in Avari Hotel, who's the chief, put it put this music on the system where bhajans are accepted. You could not sing bhajan anywhere before. And mridang has been introduced. Mridangam will be, be played in Pakistan, hopefully. And this is what I think what we need to do. And this is what I think when the people can come together they sing together, when they cross to India and they sing together, we go there, but minus the politicians. Thank you so much.